Iwo Jima, a barren volcanic island, lies midway between the Marianas and the Japanese homeland. Our heavy bombers, attacking the Empire, pass the island. The airfields at Iwo could base fighter escort for them. But the island already had strong defenses, and the Japanese were multiplying their strength. For several months, Iwo had been subjected to increasingly heavy high-altitude bombing attacks and long-range ship bombardment. By the 1st of January, there were 456 enemy installations on Iwo. Aerial reconnaissance indicated that most of these defenses were permanent, heavily protected by reinforced concrete and carefully camouflaged. For another month, we bombed the island every day, and while we bombed, the enemy built. Undismayed by another six weeks of incessant bombing, the enemy continued to build until there were 750 defensive positions on Iwo, just three days before we were scheduled to invade. On the morning of February 17th, minesweepers moved across the eastern beaches where our landings were to be made. Proceeding along the front of the beaches, within 300 yards of the shore, they passed right under the nose of the Japanese defenders, drawing only light and intermittent fire. Even from this close range, there was little to indicate the enemy's defensive strength. As the last of the minesweepers were passing Suribachi, the gunboats supporting the underwater reconnaissance moved in toward the beach. To the enemy, waiting in concealment, it must have appeared that we intended to land. As the gunboats moved in, the Jap revealed for the first time the great strength of his beach defenses. Heavy fire from the right flank indicated concealed guns not shown on any map. The assault waves were preceded by gunboats, drenching the beach with rockets. Only sporadic gunfire met the approaching wave, and the touchdown of the leading wave was made with comparatively light losses. The worst was yet to come. Only after many days of coordinated assault by infantry, artillery, air, and naval gunfire, Iwo Jima was captured only at great cost. Chased us off there five times. We came back six. Artillery duel develops at night. One of our ammunition dumps goes up. We've cleaned out plenty of Japs between here and Suribachi. But there's still a lot of island to be taken with thousands of Japs fighting from blockhouses, pillboxes, and caves. We have to go in and dig them out, one by one.
wreckage along the beach was only a small part of the cost of 26 days of fighting. Stacked the helmets of our dead in neat piles. Helmets of 4,000 men who died to take a tiny island somewhere in the Pacific. <laughs> 